You just have to talk to him. So, let's go talk to you. Commander, Gassa. are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Grissom Academy. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. It's not an average school. They might even be doing work for the Alliance. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it could be Cerberus. She saw some similarities to the faked encryption protocols. I'll take your word for it. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Nice work. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. See? Look at that. We got a, uh... Side mission, just from asking people. All you gotta do. A lot of times you have to ask them about the family and they'll, like, tell you something. Or... Oh. Okay. Hey, Commander! Check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would've baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Super creepy. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has series design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, who else do we need to talk to? Commander, you have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. She must be feeling better. Okay. Uh, beat me in purgatory. Do you pass it up? Don't make me wait too long. Think about it. Okay. Alright, so while some it's about the past activities with many of us in S T and R Star? Star maybe? The ties in Reapers. Everything's in the bad. Okay, set it all. All right. You said she said something about Commander. It's, uh. Primark seems like a good guy. He'll get his people moving in the right direction. Please. He's a good guy with his home world on fire. All he committed to is so this purgatory. A war summit we're looking we have for Arya, who I believe is not sorry. We're looking for another guy who's in the embassy. Embassy, I have embassy. Embassy. And uh, somebody else is coming us, I think. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Uh... Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Uh, oh. Commander, something else you need? <laughs> Nothing more, sir. <laughs> Keep me posted. Pack it out. Oh, I thought somebody else. Uh, somebody. Ugh, I'm trying to figure something out. Uh, who's, the, who's the person that, uh. The specialist girl. Uh. Said. Commander Shepard. Alright. Let's go check out one more thing. Two more things. We're gonna go to the Captain's Lodge. I got the shoulders. Alright, I got that. Did I get any legs? I did. What about helmets? Okay, cool. Save and exit. I want the inferno.
What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home? You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. Okay. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. Okay. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done? <laughs> Makes me look sane. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. I'll talk to you later. You bet. All right. Just trying to find Cortez. I hope I didn't leave you hanging too long on that last Cerberus raid. I'm just glad we made it up in one piece. It's been a while since I've seen a dog fight like that. Really missed my trident. ACM isn't really the Kodiak strong suit. All right, let's go do uh, some missions. What do we have available to us? Academy mission, which I think I might do, because that one will make more sense. our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Uh, hospital. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Let's go talk to, uh, Ashley. Got it. Yes, I know. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Jeez. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of the town. Talk to Ashley. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. 